Hi everyone, welcome to Type Talks. Today we're here to talk about signs you are not a TJ. And so these are the INTJ, ISTJ, ENTJ, ESTJ types. And so the first clue you may not be a TJ is that resource allocation in itself seems like a daunting task for you. Types that have high extroverted thinking find it easy to allocate resources in the most efficient and effective way possible. And so if lining up resources to get a certain result or an end goal is difficult for you, that may be a sign that TE is not your strong suit. Yeah, exactly. If, if accomplishing a big to-do list every day is something that seems impossible or you don't understand how people can get so many things accomplished in a day or sometimes even it's something that you get upset with. You know, this person's so busy doing all the things, they're not even taking the time to consider what's going on inside. They're just in action all the time. All of those things are decent signs that maybe you're not a TJ. And so TE dominance are more likely to be in action all the time, meeting goals or having new projects or getting things done and being quick and on the move and results, results, results. Whereas for the TE auxiliaries, they might have more energy management concerns. They're not going to be super go getter -y all the time because they might really be concerned with monitoring their time and energy and resources, but they still know how to get things done if they wanted to. Yeah, great point, Joyce. Resource management is still a high priority, even if TE is the second function. And in fact, it, it does come down to almost personal energy management. So when TE is the second function, so much more time and energy is spent in the planning phase. And then as you said, if it's the first function, it so much more time tends to be spent in actual action. And so that brings us to the second point that you may not be a TJ. If you naturally enjoy the journey even more than the end result. So in general, perceivers really do enjoy the journey. Getting there and the, and the journey and what happens along the way is, is what they enjoy the most. Whereas for a judger, really getting things done, getting to the end goal, the end result, in a sense, is what a judger is really aiming for. And so if you naturally enjoy the journey more and you don't care as much about actually reaching the goal, then probably not a TJ. So when it comes to the journey, a lot of SE and NE higher up types will enjoy just the process of the thing more. Whereas with TJs, there may be a focus more on the ends. They may learn to enjoy the journey over time as all human beings should, but I feel like they go from naturally understanding end results to then planning or organizing their life to include more of the journey because they find that to be an important aspect of life too. So all humans can enjoy the journey, but I find that TE likes to have a purpose behind why it does things unless it's just a side hobby that they enjoy just because they enjoy it. So that's separate. You know, if an INTJ or ISTJ has an FI hobby that they just enjoy doing it because it strikes their introverted feeling, then that's different. But if you were to see a TE dominant type, an ENTJ or an ESTJ, they typically almost always do things with a purpose behind it or an end goal. So it's like, I don't learn knitting unless I know that I want to become a knitter or that I want to gain a skill in knitting. There's always that end goal of achieving something. With TE, there is an emphasis on, I'm doing this so that I'll achieve something from it. That'll help me in some sort of way to progress further in one of my goals or one of my projects or at a result that I'd like. And so our third sign that you're not a TJ is that emotional impact is the most important metric in decisions. And so emotional impact might be one of the factors out of many of the logical variables that you have for making a decision, but it's not going to be the thing that you weigh the most heavily as a TE user because it'll, it's just one of the many variables rather than the most important variable. Weighing the emotional impact of something tends to be an extroverted feeling, like an, an FJ specialty or just a feeling types specialty of wanting to consider the value element or the human element or the people element as the most important thing. Yeah, and I think that can be a point of confusion sometimes in trying to distinguish FJ, TJ, um, because if a TJ values people 
and has certain FI values around making other people happy or, or things like that, it can become a little bit confusing. But at the end of the day, if you really step back and look at it as a whole picture, emotional impact for a TJ is a metric. It's not the whole picture. Really, the whole picture is the end goal. And how you're going to get there might be tailored based on how people feel or how you feel. But really, the biggest hit um, and the biggest drive for a TJ is reaching that end goal in the most effective or efficient way possible and being able to measure that goal and really feeling accomplished and having completed it. And if people feel good along the way, great, but it's not always the most important thing. And that brings us to our fourth point that you may not be a TJ, which is when someone gives you a task or a to-do list, you feel boxed in and you push back. For a TJ, they're going to be excited by that, um, especially an ETJ. They're going to say, oh, this gives me an opportunity to shine. I would love to get these things done. You might even get that same response from an ITJ as well, depending on who's giving that list. But there are other types, especially like ENPs, for example. That's kind of tricky. An ENP really does want to please the group. They want to be a part of the group and, and have an impact. But give them a, a specified list, ooh, they're gonna feel boxed in and they're gonna almost do everything they can to avoid that list. And so it, it can be a funny dichotomy in that they, they would like to meet the needs of the group, but if they're given specific parameters on how to do that, it feels very much like a thing they wanna push against. In comparison then, of course, to the TJ, which will lean into that and really um, appreciate that and almost feel excited about getting that done. And so the EP types in particular will push back against too much structure because it can be limiting to their freedom and limiting to their ability to keep their options open. And so it's undesirable for them to be given a task list because it takes away their autonomy, their individuality from a TI and FI standpoint. Sometimes telling an EP to do something gets you the opposite result. And then they want to do the exact opposite of what you wanted them to do, almost like reverse psychology. Whereas a TJ, if you give them an effective and efficient task list and it helps them accomplish their goal, they're going to have less of just rebelling for the sake of rebelling. Yeah. And, and then just to add on to that, when you consider an EFP, of course, they're using TE in a very conscious position. They're using it in that third position. And so they can resonate a lot with some, some TE descriptions. But for them, that task list probably needs to be one that's more self-generated. And so it's it's hitting against or it's meeting objectives of their own FI. And so they're motivated to complete that list. Or maybe it's given by somebody that they really look, to, look up to and respect. Maybe they'd have an easier time doing that. But in general, a list given to any EP is pretty binding. Um, and so it 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 gives them that sense of, oh, now what can I do to get around this? Um, and so it's an interesting phenomena. And this brings us to our fifth point, that you may not be a TJ. Efficiency is not the most important reason for thought sharing. So in this case, as we've said in other points, for TE, for extroverted thinking, thought sharing really is to reach an end goal. It's really to get something accomplished, a goal of some sort. It's to sort of move the group in a direction towards a goal. If we're gonna thought share, if we're gonna share ideas, it's to help, it's to move things along. Now comparing that to TI, introverted thinking, that's a personal thinking process. And that's a process that really is looking at getting to the truth, the truth and what makes sense to me as an individual. And so, Efficiency is not that important. The point is not to have a goal. I guess if you're going to look at it as a goal, look at it as a goal. The goal is to get to that core principle. Really have a cleanly defined thought without the need 
to have to put that into action, especially not now, because if you have that thought and it's solid and you really know what you believe, then as you're moving through life, it'll be there and you'll feel confident in being able to make the right decision in the moment. Whereas with TE, it really is more about getting into action. It, it can feel like a bit of a waste of time to just debate for the sake of debate. Sometimes there's debate to help people see your reasoning and to move people in a direction when you're using TE. But for TI, really, sometimes it's just a matter of what can you tell me that I might not have considered so that I can further refine my thoughts? That's a good point, Diane. Introverted thinking types that use it in a strong way can just like debating just because something doesn't make sense to them and they need to make it make sense. And their action for TPs may not be towards any sort of end goal. It's just for logic for logic's own sake. Whereas like TE is logic with an end goal typically, but TI is logic for the sake of having a clean logical process. And so you're more likely to see a TP type just debating for the sake of debating without it going towards any sort of direction or with them having any sort of direction in mind. And I bet NT types can also relate to wanting to debate as well to refine their thinking as well. And so that wraps up all the signs that we have for today. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye.